Well, we're working in a park, a public park in, in Guimarães. Guimarães is another town, so my university is in Vila Real, which is uh, in Inlands. Guimarães is also in, in, in the Inlands. It's quite close to, to Vila Real, to Porto. It's in the north of Portugal. And yeah, Guimarães is actually a very interesting site. Um, it's uh, one of the most historical cities in Portugal. It was the first capital of Portugal. And the park is a recent endeavor of the city. It has about, I, don't, I think, 15 years. And uh, it is crossed by this uh, river, River Corus. And River Corus is a, a quite narrow river, but it's all the way through the park. So you, but you can walk around the park and, know, and don't notice the river. So that's one of the challenges of, the, of our project, is to just make people aware of that, of that river. But we did something very interesting with, the with our students in landscape architecture, our bachelor students. We went out to the park and asked the students how to make people aware of the water and, how, and, and aware of uh, the benefits that water can bring to you uh, in terms of uh, health. And so students started to think about it. They also did their surveys along the park and they think about what's the best spot to, um, to do that, to make people aware of the water. That was a very good thing because we went out with the students, the students were all around, we invited people from the municipality, from the landscape lab in, in, in Guimarães. And we came out of about 20 different projects. Some um, um, were taking advantage of this uh, artificial body of water, which is a circular lake, which is in the middle of the park. This uh, artificial lake is uh, very close to the river, but you don't notice the river because it's behind a slope. Behind a slope, so you pass by the lake and by the river at the same time, and you just uh, turn your attention to the, to the lake, which is in bad shape now. So our idea was to. Uh, merge both bodies of water, the artificial body of water and uh, the stream, so that people can cross from one part of the water to the other, you know, you know cross over the river and you know, over the, the lake as well. So that's a very simple intervention, but I think it could raise attention to the river and to the artificial lake. We, we are part of the team of the uh, Estonian University of Life Sciences. And uh, some of our partners, well, of course, the municipality of Guimarães, the landscape lab of Guimarães, and the original designer of the park, um, are all going to be uh, included in the process of design. Um, we have the, these first sketches we were already talking about. We have these first sketches, the students' work. Then we have to find uh, a group of solutions that we could, that we then can. Um, uh, provide to our stakeholders for a decision. So we already had some um, observations and behavior mapping done uh, last year in 2017. So we have already some uh, insight of how people use the site. Now we're going to start interviewing people to know about their preferences. Um, at the same time, there's two other jobs that we're going to do, which is one, it's related to an environmental assessment tool. It's also going to start right now. People from the lab are also going to be invited in to do some to do that, and um, a work it, that is related with SoftGIS, which uh, relates people's preferences with a specific geographic site related to water use. So all that, all those four packages of information are going to be um, uh, important for our assessment in the end. After the intervention, we're going to run the observations and behavior mapping again and the interviews to people again. So we will have uh, pre-intervention material and post-intervention material. That should be quite interesting to compare what happens uh, after the intervention. Yeah.